Hi, this is Yungun. Recently, I've uploaded about the simplest tutorial of Gyroflow, and today I'm gonna talk about a more advanced setting called dynamic zooming. The previous video, uh, the previous tutorial, showed about how to do settings in no zooming mode. So what you do is just put it to 1.0 for FOV, and then you're gonna find out these kind of bumps when you're doing up and downs and left and right. So at the corner, you're gonna see these kind of bumps. So what I told you on previous tutorial was try to just move this FOV bar chart to like 0.75 or something like that until you do not see those black bumps. But so you have to be keep adjusting until you erase all the bumps. But this was quite annoying because like there's so many bumps, like if there are four, you have to find it by one by one by these kind of cursors and then you have to find it and then once you find it you have to find the highest point and you have to stop there but you find there are still bumps then you have to move this fov again and you have to do like 1 point, 0 0.7 0 0.6 at last i eliminated all the bumps this is quite annoying so is there any easier way to just do this automatically? And there is a way. The way is just change this to dynamic zooming. That's it. It's very simple. It automatically erases all the bumps. Just leave this FOV to 1.0 and then it's gonna automatically delete all the black bumps. And if there are no bumps, it's gonna uh, zoom out. If there are, if there is, a black bomb then it's gonna zoom in so it's doing all by itself so it's very easy let's try to compare uh, this was taken with DJI FPV with uh, GoPro 6 and you can see that the dynamic zooming is more immersive because it zoom out more and if, if you like turn very radically then it's gonna zoom in a little bit more so it's gonna be like it's gonna be like more drifting like movie you can take those kind of movies you can see that the church is a little bit more zoomed out right and when you turn it zooms in because you're gonna have to see the black bumps and when you go forward it's gonna zoom out then it's gonna be more immersive uh, video footage so I recommend using dynamic zooming because when people see these kind of video they will say that oh I love your flying style I like how the way you fly but actually that might be an effect called dynamic zooming you can see that so it's more beneficial when you dive like this right now i'm going toward that big tree downwards and then you will see that you feel more speed there at the edge when you turn when you drift you can feel there's more like this kind of drifting uh effects like this and previously i've uploaded another, another video video called suspension bridge and you can see that when you dive and turn it feels like you're zooming in a little bit more and actually that was dynamic zooming there's nothing to do with my flying skills so this looks very cool right so i really recommend this uh, dynamic zooming when you're doing cinematic fpv videos very easy right it was about dynamic zooming